out to the club and play some golf. No, thanks. If I go to the club, I might run into Charlie Judson, and I'm not in the mood. What's that stuff? Oh, I'm taking it over to their new apartment to help Margie get it ready. Won't you change your mind about the wedding? I certainly will not. How could I go to their wedding without looking like a hypocrite? I still say it's wrong, absolutely wrong. I do not keep Fred waiting. You know, these kids are pretty impatient. Forgive me? I could be wrong, too, you know, but I don't think I am. See you later, dear. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Drive slow. Bye-bye. Sir, I didn't know you were here. Hi, Fred. What's on your mind? Well, uh, Mrs. Graham left these things here, sir. Oh. Hello? Molly? Oh, yes. Yeah, how are you? Yes, yeah, fine. Yeah. Fred? Yes, he's here. Fred. It's your mother. Hello, Mom? Yeah, well, I know. There's no phone connected there, huh? Yeah, well, that's great, Mom, but we don't want to go to a big hotel. Well, we made some other arrangements. Yeah, well, I know the reservations are hard to get, but... Well, look, Mom, this is uh, our honeymoon. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk it over with Margie. What? Well, you, you made the reservations already? Well, you're not asking me, then you're telling me. All right, Mom. Okay, all right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll see you later, Mr. Brown. Okay, Fred. Too slowly. Won't be long now, will it? Mm. Hey, what happened to Mother? She uh, had to get some hooks or something. She's downstairs. <laughs> well, this is going to be great, isn't it? I hope you won't mind my cooking. Just as long as I don't have to wash dishes. <laughs> well, I'll serve TV dinners, and then we won't have to do any dishes. And then I'll give you an extra big kiss when you come home at night. Except we'll be coming home from school together. Oh, that's right. Hey, guess what this is? It's a key to the apartment. Uh-uh. The honeymoon cabin at Elkwood. Oh. Helen dropped it by this morning. She said that everything's ready and waiting and there's a huge pile of firewood because it gets cold at night at this time of year. Yeah, I guess. It's only a couple of hours from the church, so we yeah, can go right... Margie, there's something I've got to tell you. Yeah? You know when I stopped by your father? Yeah. Well, go on, Fred. Well, I can wait. Uh, you, that's your mother. You better let her... Hello, darling. Hi. I suddenly remembered we had no hooks to hang the cups. How are we coming? Are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Oh, well, let's get started, shall we? Now, don't panic, Mother. We're not getting married till Wednesday. Well, Fred, why don't you clean up some of those papers? All right. How do you like this, honey? Nice. I thought it was kind of pretty. Hey, Mother. Mm-hmm. Did you talk to Dad about coming to the way? Yes, dear, but I'm afraid it didn't do any good. Well, you think if I try? There's no harm in trying. Awful if Dad didn't come. I know, dear. Say, this is lovely, isn't it? Well, it's a solid pattern, and I sort of had a floral effect in mind. But, Margie, you've got floral slip covers. You have floral drapes, your room's going to be too busy. Well, not for me, Mother. Well, it's your apartment. It's an expensive piece of material, Margie. 